Hello and welcome to the Stock Planner channel. Today we're going to talk about three stocks that I think would work well for a long trade. Hey Bob, what are you trading? Why, of course, I'm trading AMC. Yes, of course you are. Hey Mary, what are you trading? I'm trading Amazon. Of course you are, Mary. Hey Bob, what are you trading? I'm trading Telsa. Everybody's trading Telsa. Sue, what are you trading? Of course, I'm trading Apple. Yes, everybody trades Apple. Stock Planner, what are you trading? INTC. Yeah, INTC is getting a lot of action this week. So we're going to discuss Apple, Amazon, and INTC because I'm the boss. But before we do, I'd like to remind everybody that we at Stock Planner are an education channel. We try to share our ideas, learn, do our own due diligence, don't take advice from other people. We're not offering any advice. Maybe relax and have a little fun. Let's get started. First stock on is going to be Apple. Okay, so I'm going to bar chart. And I'm using the free version, which only gives me the first page of this. And I want to, to go long on Monday or the rest of this week. And so I click on bull put credit spreads. I trade credit spreads so I get money to pay me instead of me paying for the spreads. And I like bear call spreads. But today I would like to see what everybody else is trading long. And look, Amazon, there's INTC, and where is Apple? There's Apple. And these are the various different legs. We're not going to really look at that. We're going to do our own due diligence. But it seems like a lot of action on these stocks. In fact, it's only three on that page. Long. Option interest, let's go ahead and take a look. Well, it looks, looks to be in, a, in sort of a range between 144 and 149. Just had a dividend issued, and earnings is behind us. As a swing trader, we try to capture these swings, and if we do, we made some serious bank. Right now, the zigzag does not know what it's doing, and it used to know what it's doing when it was going up, so that means it's thinking it's gone down, but really... Nothing's happening. This could go like this forever. But capture the swing with the MACD is way below the zero. Stochastic RSI come around and the RSI come around. So that would have caught that nice swing. And over here, the RSI, is, the MACD is way above the, the zero line. Stochastic has crossed down and the RSI almost crossed down, but it crossed down over here. So just say here. And if you took a short there, you'd be losing. Now, for some reason, everybody thinks Apple's going up. What do you think? Let's see what we got. We got the zero lag MACD says pointing up. It's pretty deep down below the zero line. I like that. So let's cut that one. The stochastics was down below and came back around. I like that. And the RSI I didn't quite make it. And it's, it's up in the overbought position. And that's probably because of this long candle here. Short term, I do not see a long or a short here. I see some range. But it could break out at any time, up the upside or the downside. If that is support, well, I thought I was going to agree with Susie, but I don't think I want to buy it. Near its all-time highs here, and I think I'll wait for a little pullback. So I'm not going to agree with Susie, and I'm, not going, to do, I'm going to do nothing. I thought I was going to buy Amazon. Again, we have a stock that swing traders like. It swings fairly nicely. And right now, Zigzag doesn't know what it's doing. Thinking about going up. We had this large gap. I think it's going to fill somewhere up in here. We have the MACD way below the zero line. The stochastic RSI has swung back around over here. Right around here. Amazon's still going down after that. And so is the RSI has swung around at about the same time. This seems to be a pivot. But we had red bars after that. Now, it's... Do we expect that to happen? That to happen? That to happen? I'm more comfortable with Amazon filling this gap over the next month and a half. So I think this is a long. And I think this is one that we'll get in. And let's see what we got here. We want to try to get in between. I think it's coming up here. So 32.95 is our low point. Now let's see what the bear call spread has for us. Excuse me, a, a bull put spread. We want to go long. Rather than um, a iron condors, because I think this is going to move. Once it starts moving, it's going to move. Apple looked like it wasn't moving, so you could have done an iron condor 
if you wanted to. I, I, I don't know. I, it's too erratic for me. And we want a bull call, bull put spread. And to put this trade on that they recommended, it cost the $2,500. Well, I'd like to go out to October 15th, because I think this is going to, and I think it's going to end up higher. So let's just move this, but I don't, I don't want to spend this amount of money. 290 to new 295, that gives me $500, $500 to put this place, this trade, and I'll get 250 and lose 250 And I'll win something as long as it stays above 3292 and I wanted to, I said it was going to go to 32.95, so it's already in the money. That's cool. And can I get out of this thing in about 15 days? 15 days? It'd have to go to 33.13. It'd have to go to get out of around 50 bucks. Let's see, 50 bucks. 33.51. Let's just check that. 32.92.50, or not 32.93. As long as it stays above this. I win something, and if I can stay there to October 15th, I win about 250 But I can go ahead and win $60 if it gets to 3351 in the next 20 days. 32 dollars So if it gets up in here somewhere, that's easy to do. I think it's gonna I think this gap's going to fill. I think it's going to fill up to there. So I'm comfortable with this trade. October, 5th, October 15th. 250 max loss, 250 max win. I gotta put $500 to make this trade. I win, win it all if it stays above this. 32.92.50. And in, in about 20 days, if it goes to 33.51, 50, somewhere in here, I can take 60 bucks. And I think this is doable. So I like this trade. The last one is INTC, Intel. This is the one I picked, I think, but I picked it blindly. Again, the swing up, swing down, those are nice, and it's not doing anything right at the moment. Let me draw the lines in. Is there a lag? MACD is below the zero, pretty deep. The stochastic RSI has come around, and so is the RSI. That would have picked it with that very nicely. That's fairly deep. Come around here, came around here. Now, I don't know if it's exactly four bars, but let's just assume it is, and you had a short here and eventually it would have won but you probably would have got out of that in 10 days and lost this one you had a situation where the stochastic rsi come around deep in the in those territory and the rsi came around two bars before and this one it would have been a winner and these are all close to the zero so we would have skipped those and i don't know about this one you had your it's too far back and you're not here so i don't know Anyway, it's a good thing you didn't take it, because it's just been hanging around. You had this big gap down at earnings, and I think the earnings, it will tend to fill back to 56 or so. So again, I think it should go up 5749, 53.49. Let's see if we can find any trades. Using Option Strap, a simulator tool, it's free. Going out to September, we want to go long. It takes $500 to put this trade on. Wait a minute, that's not right. INT. Let's see, that can't be right. INTC, October 15th, currently trading at 53. Let's make this 52. And we'll do this for around, around $500 margin. Your max loss is 400. And your max credit is 100. Got to stay above 51.42. That fits our requirement. 51.42. And you need to stay down there before, above that, before September, uh, October 15th. You win 108 bucks. Nice. 51.42. It's it's down in here somewhere. If it stays above that, to October, October 15th, you win 108 bucks. I think it's coming up here somewhere in this area, and I like this trade. So on Monday or Tuesday, I'm going to do two trades: INTC and Amazon, and I'm skipping Apple. And each of those trades cost me $500 to put on, so I laid a thousand bucks in my bank, and I will get $108 put into my account after I've executed this credit. In other words, I get the money, $108 into my bank account, and $250 into my bank account. So that's $350 that will I can borrow against it, and hopefully everything goes well. And I'm keeping with with the gang and trading, just like the gang. They're trading Amazon. 
lots of Amazon and ITC and a little Apple, but everybody trades Apple. Apple's on this list all the time. All right, well, that's my trades, two trades, Monday or Tuesday, especially if the market seems to be stable. And I'm not sure it's going to be with uh, Afghanistan and the situation in China where their banking system is getting a little bit readjusted and there's concern about their economy. And that'll bleed over into us. And then we have our COVA situation here where it's getting a little worse in a couple areas. So I don't know what Monday will bring. I'll look at that first thing in the morning. But if it looks stable, I, NTC and Amazon look good to me. Please like and subscribe. Happy trading. Catch you on the flip. Don't take yourself so serious. Have some fun.